Welcome everyone, Daniela here again and I want to show you how to use your metal dies. I'm working with the Star Texture Metal Die and the main kit of course. Um, then the um, Paper Basics, the Embellishment Kit and the Viewmaster uh, die plus the stamp set um, all taken from the March kits. So, um, today I'll be working with a white smooth cardstock. Usually I'm working with textured one, but this time I also want to use some stamps. So I'm going for a smooth background and to create a fun page, I want to use these um, die cut pieces, which I made from um, the metal die set and one of the paper basics, the dark blue ones. And um, yeah, the starry background should be a real eye catcher. And I love that we can uh, make use of um, these stars um, as a background for our whole layout. So if you place them here and there, it seems like just one piece and this is a really really cool thing to do you see that i also added two um, die cuts which i um, made with the metal die viewmaster set and i just um, cut those from two different pattern papers and um, now i'm um, choosing some embellishments. I want to use one of those pretty flowers from the flower die cut pack. Then I also have um, a tag from one of those papers. And um, now I just uh, slightly adhere these elements because I also want to do some stamping. But first of all, I had to see where all my elements are going to be. Um, to be able to do my stamping because it should only be um, another part of my background. Uh, so I show you later. All right. So you see that um, everything is um, placed on the starry background. This is what holds all the elements together. And um, yeah, I think that I will uh, definitely um, have some loose ends of the starry background in the end. I just adhere it in the middle of my page. So it also gives uh, the whole project uh, more dimension and a three-dimensional touch, which is uh, something that I like a lot. Okay, so um, still rearranging and then I decided to just uh, uh, rip it in two pieces so that I can have even more um, stars here um, without um, needing to cut another piece of paper. So um, yeah, you see this is very versatile and you can do a lot of different fun, fun things using these metal dies. Okay, so now I'm um, working with the grid stamp and um, before I use it the first time, I always um, yeah, try it on a different piece of paper. So now I just add some stems here and there so that I have um, another background element. So it's this grid design and um, yeah, it even adds more dimension because we have like different layers even though it's just a stamped one so um yeah the stems and the starry background really uh, add a lot uh, to this page it has such a different look um when just adding the stems so imagine this page without uh, the stars and um the stems it would be um, yeah, less interesting, less dimensional, and uh, this is a really easy way to create this kind of background because you can just place the stems where you want them to be, and um, nothing um, is messed up, um, and you just uh, see some peaks here and there. 
All right, so um, you see that I'm working with black and white pictures today. I think that black and white pictures sometimes are the best choice um, with nice um, colorful embellishments. And um, yeah, that's why I go for black and white pictures now and then. And um, I also want to um, add just two branches here um, created with a metal die set. And um, if you add just two or three um, additional branches to die cuts, uh, yeah, they uh, gain um, more details and again, a lot of dimension. All right, so I love these circle stickers. I use them on all my <laughs> projects and I also, um, punched out um, another circle from one of those papers uh, which I like a lot. It um, comes in beautiful uh, blue colors and um, now I also want to have this puffy heart sticker here um, and um, of course my title. It's also one from those puffy stickers and um, it will be a wow gamer so um, i also have to use um, the alphabet stickers later but first of all i wanted to see if i add a few more of these uh, stickers that even add another texture and i just placed them here and there it's another layer again it's all about dimension and you see that I just cut it apart so that I can have it into different places and um, yeah this way you can also save some of your embellishments and um, it doesn't become too heavy in your album later. All right, so now it's time to place my title. So you see that I want to be careful here just um, place it uh, under the puffy sticker and um, then I just need to add a few details, some things here and there and some uh, journaling of course. And um, you see that I have these um, stripes on each side of the cardstock. Uh, it's just one of the pattern papers. And I really love uh, the way the stripes um, are coming on this paper. So um, this is a very nice background, I guess. And um, yeah, um, I like it in addition to or in combination with this, um, um, diff with all the different background elements. So um, yeah. When I saw this paper, I really wanted to use it as um, as a background. So that's um, why I didn't have to think about it a lot <laughs> when I saw my pictures. Okay, so um, jo um, I just added some uh, more stems here and there. Now we um, come to the journaling and I have to admit I messed up. The puffy sticker a bit there is some black ink on the first w but yeah um i don't worry about it too much maybe <laughs> everyone will think uh, i wanted it to be this way so um no one will recognize it in the end i guess okay so some shiny hearts or shiny dots and um this is my finishing touch and then I can show you some impressions of my finished page. If you liked um, my way of using the dies, uh, just let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure to grab your sets and uh, have fun creating whatever comes up to your mind. And I also hope that you will join us again here soon. So thanks so much for watching and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.